thought I would do a quick little September garden tour update here. Not a lot going on or changing. My radishes are doing well. I've been pulling up some cabbage. I need to figure out what I'm doing with the rest because I've now had slugs munching on them, which is really annoying. All summer without slugs, and now I have them. This is my giant marigold. This is supposed to be a lime marigold. Never, never bloomed. So close, but I don't know if it'll open this year or not. My butternut squash. <laughs> obviously doing really well. It's taken over way more <laughs> than it's supposed to, but I'm okay. I love butternut squash. Look at how big those are. Anybody else want squash? <laughs> My tomatoes are almost done. Just waiting for these last few to ripen. And then I'm gonna pull up these plants and put them in the fire pit because they got blight, so don't wanna keep them in here. These ones are almost done as well. See, I have two different types of lettuce and spinach. And there's my little kale patch. And then, oh, amongst the weeds, I have some fall carrots popping up. Go. Fall carrots. And I'm still having Japanese beetles. Those guys just suck. The chickens love them though, so I guess it's okay. Cantaloupe, they stayed really small this year. Can start picking them pretty much any day. I have one watermelon left that you probably can't see hidden in the mess over there. I'm determined next year I need to find a seedless variety because <laughs> way more seeds than the kids and I want to deal with and most of those have ended up for the chickens. And just a few zucchinis left. I should probably pluck that one <clears throat> before it gets all seedy on me. Just a few more zucchinis and then these plants will be pulled. The cherry tomatoes are still going crazy. Like, oh. next year I'm definitely going to prune <laughs> because this is just too much. I can't walk. The cherry tomatoes are nuts. Cucumbers are almost done. I have a few growing, but for the most part, that's pretty much done. My fall raspberries have started, which is just delicious. So we have a little honey bee visiting. Hello bee. These are probably better now than they were in the spring. Of course it won't focus because there's not quite as many bugs laying eggs in them. So I'm getting to eat more of them always good for me. My jalapenos are still doing good. This little guy not doing good. I gave him some eggshells recently because all the blossoms just kept falling off which can be a calcium problem but so late that I don't think it'll make a difference one pepper on, um, I think this is my gypsy bell pepper. <laughs> one. And I'm pretty sure that this guy is purple bell pepper. My pumpkins are doing really well. Just have a few, but really you only need a few when they're, you know, that big. There's a big one over there. A big guy over here that's starting to turn orange. What else? There's a little one hanging back in there that you probably can't see. I have had a few 
I can't tell if this one's just turning orange or no, he's kind of squishy. And there's a bug on him. I have had a few pumpkins that I've had to pull because they've just been like soft and not growing correctly. So just pull them and that allows the other ones to grow better anyways. This was my little experimental pea patch sprouting up nicely. Hopefully I get some peas on it before we get a frost, but we'll see what happens. Here's one of my last green bean plants. I'm trying to dry out the green beans that are left on it, which of course it's raining and not helping because I want to save those seeds for next year. The ground cherries are still it's going nuts. I don't like them. My daughter does, so she comes out here and picks them off the ground. This was potatoes and tomatoes and beans and weeds before, but I've pulled that all up and just laid weed tarp over it to kill anything that I didn't. And then next year, I can just use that as flower bed and I won't let anything volunteer itself there because that was a hot mess. This area, I have my little wave petunias kind of beaten up from the rain and a few more green beans. I need to clear this out, the beans and the weeds. I bought a bunch of bulbs from Walmart, like tulips and stuff that are spring bulbs that I need to plant now. My irises are doing all right. I'm excited to see those next year. Zinnias are still happy. Look at how cool they are. This one's almost done. He's been, this was the first one I had bloom, but isn't that cool? They're so funky. And this is the newest one to open. And this one's about to open. There's quite a few on this plant that want to open. Roses are still doing well. I really love these rose bushes. I actually managed to collect some seeds from it, so I'm hoping I can have a lot more of those next year. My other dahlias finally opened. They're so pretty. I've had these ones all summer. And these ones I got on clearance and probably mid-July. Very happy with that purchase. I started collecting some cabbage. Oh, and you can see, ta-da, the shed's finished painting. I have some other stuff I want to do with it, but doesn't that look so much nicer? Well, I'm actually I'm not going to walk over there, but in the compost style, we had a few pumpkins growing as well, and the horses were using it. They were walking between them. And there's actually, you can see it, it's a pretty big pumpkin in there. And then there's a smaller one over here and I was worried the horses would step on it. So I got some extra little trellises and put them around because the horses walk right through here and sometimes they get crazy and run around and, you know, do pony things. So I've protected those pumpkins because I think I have about four big ones and then one or two little ones. So. Asparagus patch is doing good. And I have a friend giving me a bunch of bare root asparagus plants to put in. She works for a floral center and they were going to get tossed. Don't even know if they're good anymore or not. But you know what? They're free and there's like 20 of them. So maybe one or two will grow. I'm down with it. But yeah, this is the... There's Max. Hi, Max. He's soaking wet. Here's the garden tour. Oh yeah, the mammoth sunflowers finally did bloom. I guess I forgot to mention that. And you can kind of see, I started cardboarding off the back area where the blackberries are. My in-laws just moved. And they're giving us all their boxes so that I can put it in the back of the garden, which is awesome. That's the September, I guess early September 
garden update because I'll probably do another one once all the cabbages and tomatoes and zucchini and cucumbers and stuff are gone. Oh yeah, and I harvested all the corn too. I think we got about 12 decent sized ears and then a bunch of little like teeny baby corn ones because I threw random corn kind of in places just to see what would happen. But doing good. Rainy day, so I don't know how much I'll get finished in here. We'll see. Anyways, there's the September, early September garden update for you.